Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video brought to you by CockroachZone.com. Today, we're going to talk about teeth and if cockroaches have them. Before we take a bite out of this topic, let's take a quick look at this subject overview. Roaches don't have teeth, but they do have a complex structure used for chewing and biting. These are separated into three unique parts. The first is the gizzard, which contains plates that grind the food in the stomach. The second is the maxilla, located in the front of the roach, which chews food so that it can be swallowed. The third structure is the mandibles, which bite the food and pull it into the mouth. So, no teeth, at least not in the traditional sense. But don't let that fool you. Cockroaches can bite with the best of them, and they have a few tricks that can aid with chewing and digestion. Most notably, that stomach grinder known as the gizzard, which we will talk about here momentarily. And before we get started, a quick shout out to you, the viewer. Thanks so much for watching, and thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Now, let's begin. I guess chewers would be the best word choice. Ways to get the job done, as true teeth are simply not part of the equation. It's quite a process for roaches, but a rather interesting one. Roaches have a pair of mandibles that are located at the front. They serve as strong jaws. Mandibles serve as the primary function of what we would consider as teeth. They are used to bite and chew. The mandibles are the strongest part of a roach's mouth. Cockroaches also have a pair of maxillae. These are strong pincers that are used for secondary chewing. They help to grind the food into smaller pieces prior to swallowing. And finally, as we talked about in our introductions, Roaches do have a gizzard. Gizzard teeth? Well, pretty close. The gizzard contains plates or discs that break down food. The plates are attached to the walls of the gizzard. As the gizzard moves, the discs essentially chew the remaining remnants of the food that has been consumed. A gizzard is present in many different species, most notably insects and birds. The gizzard is common in omnivores that lack traditional teeth. Roaches can chew rather fast. They seek out soft foods. Some foods are soft enough where the gizzard takes over. This allows roaches to eat without too much chewing within the mouth. The chunks go down and the gizzard just grinds away. So, with these powerful mandibles and all the other cool chewing features, can a roach actually bite you? And will it hurt? They certainly can and it, it certainly will. Although it is extremely rare for this to occur, roaches can bite and you will feel it. Those mandibles, they're, they're quite strong. And if you'd like to know more about biting, the strength of the bite, and everything in between, please head on over to CockroachZone.com at the conclusion of this video. We've prepared a full-length and highly detailed article just for you that will explore every aspect of what goes into cockroaches and chewing. No teeth, no problem, as our article clearly lays out. So, if you'd like to know more, please visit the site. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, please click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of this important information. As you can see on screen, we've covered an awful lot, and we've done it just for you. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.